Hi, I'm Aaron from Data Classroom, and I'm going to introduce you to statistics with the graph-driven test in Data Classroom. Now, I want to start out by saying the graph-driven test currently assumes that you're working with normally distributed data, but if you are, it's a great way to help point you toward the correct and, and most appropriate statistical test uh, given your data. Now, you also have to start out by making a graph of your data, which I've already done here. You can see I've got a dot plot showing wing length for uh, female and male mosquitoes, and I've plotted it uh, highlighting the mean with the dot and the error bars are showing standard deviation. Now, to run a statistical test from here, it's as simple as going over here to the right-hand panel, and this button right here is the graph-driven hypothesis test. So I'm going to click this, and it's going to open up this table, which shows me the suite of hypothesis tests that Data Classroom can currently handle. It shows you t-test, ANOVA, two-way ANOVA, linear regression, chi-square goodness of fit, or chi-square test of independence. And you can see in yellow, it's highlighting t-test because on the x-axis, I have a categorical variable with exactly two values. Those values were male or female. And I, on the y-axis, I have a numeric variable. This is wing length in millimeters. This is uh, comparing mosquitoes again. Uh, and I have nothing on the, the z-axis, which is our color coding. So to run this t-test, I just click this green calculate button right here. I click calculate and it gives me my output. It gives me degrees of freedom. It gives me t-score the p-value less than 0 0.01. This is the minimum that will display in Data Classroom. And then it gives you a little help on the interpretation of p. A p-value of less than 0 0.01 means that the groups are different. Now, if you want some nuance to interpreting a p-value, you can click this blue explain right here. And when you click this button, it will open up this, this p-value explained window and it will frame the question that you're testing mathematically in blue here. Is there a significant difference in wing millimeters? So this is wing length in millimeters, and this is what was on Y. Between the two groups, F and M, these are the, the two values of my categorical value on, or variable on X. Female was one value, male was the other. And you can see the p-value is displayed on this number line ranging from zero up to one, and it shows that a p-value of less than 0 0.01 means that the groups are different. You can also click and drag this and explore that parameter space. And so you can see if I slide down here, for example, 0 0.89, this means no evidence the groups might be different, right? If I have 0 0.30, little to no indication the groups might be different. If, as I start moving down here, you can see when I move into the green, less than 0 0.05, I'm into this zone of very strong confidence. Um, when I let go of this, it will always snap back to my calculated p-value. Um, you can also see down here in yellow, there's some text to help your students with some subtlety when they're presenting what a, what a p-value means and what it doesn't mean. Just wanting to highlight that p-values are not absolute. Science is actually really bad at giving a firm yes or no answer. Um, and, but what statistics and, and, and these kinds of methods are designed to do is to give you a measure of confidence in the evidence that you have within a given data set. And any conclusions that you draw are only as good as, as the data set you have. But hopefully this window will be useful uh, to your students as they're as they're trying to make sense of their of their calculated p value. So that's it. That's how you do um, statistics with the graph driven test. Um, hope you have fun working with your own data.